Hi everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to my channel for Tech Tuesday, or welcome if you're new. Today I'm gonna to be comparing the new Garmin Venue SQ2 to the Garmin Venue 2S. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So today I'm gonna to be going into the major similarities and differences between both of these smartwatches. If you do wanna see you know, a more in-depth review on either of them, I have done full reviews on both of these smartwatches, which you can find in the top right or in the description below when you're done watching this. I have the Venue 2S here in the color white rose gold, and I have the SQ2 in the color ivory peach gold. So the SQ2 Music Edition I have here currently goes for 389.99 Canadian or 299.99 American, while the Garmin Venue 2S currently goes for 459.99 Canadian and 349.99 American. So I've gone ahead and listed the main spec differences between both of these smartwatches on screen for you guys. And I'm gonna be going more into depth on the ones that I do find the most important, but I do have all of this information on screen for you guys now for anyone who wants to take a screenshot or just see this information. So a difference between both of these smartwatches is the design. So obviously we do have a circular watch face and here we have more of a square watch face. And there are differences in the display sizes. So here we have a 1.1 inch display and here we have a 1.4 inch display. There's also a difference in the band width. So here we have an 18 millimeter band and here we have a 20 millimeter band. Going along to the bottom, here we can see that we have some metal hardware here it is plastic. And same going up to the buttons, metal buttons, plastic buttons. And both do have Garmin's new heart rate sensor as well. All right guys, now this is what they look like on me. And I have them on the same wrist here so you can get a real feel for how they compare size wise. And when it comes to comfort, I find both of them comfortable to wear. So they do fit a variety of wrist sizes. We can see that the 2S here does have a thinner band and a smaller watch face. And when it comes to the bands, we do have a 20 millimeter band versus an 18 millimeter band. And the Venue 2S fits smaller wrist sizes, while the Venue SQ2 fits larger wrist sizes. They both have an AMOLED display and they're both made of Gorilla Glass 3. So we are getting very similar experiences when it does come to the display. I will say that this one does have a more kind of curved um, lens going along. So that does create a bit more reflection in a way when you're looking at the displays. And you're seeing the displays right now indoors under some lights and there are no screen protectors on the watches right now. So you're seeing how they just naturally appear. I do have the brightness at dim on both of them, and you can definitely see them, you know, quite clearly, quite apparently indoors. All right, guys, so this is what the displays do look like outside in the sunlight under some natural lighting. And, you know, it's definitely easy to read. I will say when you are outdoors, the reflection is more apparent. So I definitely would recommend pumping up your brightness or turning on auto brightness just to make sure that you are getting the appropriate brightness so you can read it in the sunlight. If you are looking for something super easy to read, I would definitely recommend checking out Garmin's watches with their sunlight transflective display, perfectly made for outdoors. And you can find that display on, you know, the Phoenix 6S, the Phoenix 7S, the Vivo Active 4S, the Forerunner 255, all those other Garmin smartwatches, for example. And I've done full reviews on all of those. If you are interested, you can find them on my channel. So when it comes to these smartwatches, they do have many similarities in common. And I've gone ahead and listed a bunch of the ones I found on screen for you guys, such as they both have a Gorilla Glass 3 lens, advanced sleep tracking, a color display, pulse ox, built-in GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. They're also both water resistant at 5 ATM or 50 meters, so you can swim in them, wear them in the rain, the snow, and more. I'm finding the sleep tracking on both watches pretty similar, to be honest. Um, regardless of, you know, the SQ2 being newer, I am not really finding much of a change when it just comes to sleep tracking. I'm usually getting something that's very similar within about like 5% or so. So when it comes to time of sleep, we can see there's a three minute difference, but very similar here. And when it comes to the score, we can see 81 versus 79. And when it comes to sleep quality, they are differing in the messages that they are saying, fair versus good. And honestly, I do think that the fair message is more accurate than good, because it wasn't really a good sleep I had last night. And 
you know, when it comes to the message here, very similar. So coming over to this little graph here, we can see some differences, but by and large, they are very similar. And they're showing almost identical times when I fell asleep and woke up. So when we look at our sleep stages, we can see that they are differing, but it's very slight. And then coming over to the bottom here, we almost have the exact same messages from two different smartwatches. So if you guys missed it from my spec list before, the Venue 2S here does have a coated battery life up to 10 days and up to 11 days with battery saver on. And the SQ2 here has a coated battery life up to 11 days or 12 days with battery saver on. So with my uses, which are things like GPS walks, cycling, daily cardio activities, timers, alarms, and more, I have gotten on average nine days of battery life with the Venue SQ2 and seven to eight days with the Venue 2S. So honestly guys, both of these have fantastic battery life in my opinion. We're getting a little bit more on the SQ, which is fantastic, you know, more battery life, always better for me. And I definitely think both of these can fit into many people's lifestyles. You only have to charge it really once a week, maybe twice if you're a heavy user, but honestly, like that's reasonable in my opinion. So I have noticed a pro here from the SQ comparing it to the 2S. Now that pro for me is this watch is a lot faster when it comes to music downloads. Now I use Spotify and if I'm downloading, you know, a playlist on here, it does it so much faster, basically half the time. I downloaded a playlist of 30 songs and it took only 15 minutes on my venue SQ2 here where when I downloaded the same playlist using Spotify on the 2S, it took about 35 minutes. So it's definitely a lot faster of a process um, with this newer watch. An area that the Venue SQ2 is worse at than the 2S is the vibration. When it comes to the vibration settings, you can go ahead on both smartwatches and you can change them to be low, medium, or high. I will say that this smartwatch has a very weak vibration. If you have it on low, honestly, you're probably not really gonna feel it. And if you have it on medium, it's just weak um, compared to other smartwatches. So I definitely had to change it to high to be able to kind of notice it because I found myself, you know, sleeping through the medium vibration here when that's never happened to me on this smartwatch. When it comes to activity tracking, both of these smartwatches do a great job. For example, if I was doing a GPS activity outdoors, like running or cycling, they had solid connection, they track my whereabouts accurately. And in my experience, when I go back and you know review the map data, and they track the pace well when I'm going on walks or runs, and I've seen basically identical results when it does come to my metrics that I get from my workouts, whether it's like an indoor cardio workout or an outdoor workout, I get the same steps, calories burned, active minutes. Now, which one is best for you? Well, that depends on a couple of factors. A lot of it comes down to design because they are very different in design. You know, we have a circular watch face versus a square watch face. And if you're someone looking for a more affordable smartwatch that can track all your basics, has great battery life and has a square watch face, then I would definitely tell you to check out the Venue SQ2. If you're someone who's looking for a watch with a circular watch face that can track your altitude, floors climbed, and has a bit more of a premium feel, animated workouts, and it can track just a few more activities than we can on the SQ2 then I'll definitely recommend the Venue 2S to you. When it comes to my personal preference on which one I prefer, I definitely do prefer the Garmin Venue 2S here. Now, I prefer the design personally. I like the circular watch face and, you know, the extra metal accents that we have around the watch. I also prefer that the band is a little bit slimmer. I do like that the Venue 2S can track a bit more activities, and I like having the ability to track my forest climb and altitude personally. Which smartwatch would you prefer to have? The Venue SQ2 or the Venue 2S? Comment below. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. And that's all I have for today. And if there's anything I missed that you wanna know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.